inside the octagon, Kyle Bokniak is a savage. <laughs> outside the octagon, Kyle Bokniak is a kind, humble, inspiring person. Here in your hometown, Gloucester, Massachusetts, can you describe this town to someone that's never been here before? It's like island living. Everybody knows everyone. Um, everybody's friends. Gloucester's one of the towns, like, they have your back no matter what. You live here? Oh, yeah. I grew up here. Third story, yeah, so we're just coming back and getting the video. Uh, it's a close-knit community. Um, everybody's an athlete. I don't know what it is. And everybody's a fighter. What do you mean by that, that everyone's a fighter here? I, I don't know what it is. It's just, they call it the fighting fishermen, the statue. Like, the, the statue will look over all the fishermen who go out to see, to provide for their families. And I think uh, the community takes honor in that and they, they live through that. We didn't have a lot of money growing up. My mom worked three jobs to put food on the table, give us fresh sneakers every birthday, Christmas. We never knew we were poor though. But like electricity would go out, we would eat dinner with candlelight, boil hot water for baths. Um, no heat, no electricity, but we always got through it. So we're here on the bleachers at Gloucester High. What are your memories from this place? Um, some good things, but mostly bad things. I played freshman football here on this field. Um, had family in these stands watching me. Had high hopes of being a um, pro professional football player one day, going to college, have a full boat. I kind of went down the wrong tube, started hanging out with the wrong crowd, started dabbing in alcohol and drugs and pills. Fast forward a little bit, 22 years old now, don't have a job, don't have a GED, don't have a high school diploma, don't have a girl, don't have nothing. This is where I started getting really heavy into pills and alcohol and stuff. And uh, I remember one, one time I got so messed up, I ended up ODing on pills. But I remember taking the whole bottle, saying if, if I die, I die. If I survive, it's meant to be, I'll change. And uh, sure enough, I woke up a week later in a coma with a catheter and everything. My family just bawling their eyes out when I woke up. And you would think that would be rock bottom, but it still wasn't rock bottom for me. Oh yeah, this, this is the Gloucester Court. A lot of times walking out of those doors not knowing what the hell to do. The Gloucester Police Department had enough of me. I got arrested. The judge said, that's it Kyle, you're out of here. They sent me to Middleton Jail where I spent 33 days in an orange jumpsuit waiting to be arraigned for my trial. At what point did you find MMA? I found MMA when I was in welding school in Hartford, Connecticut. There was this kid there, Perry Philkins, and he just pulled me aside, hey, you look like a fighter. I was like, really, what? Okay, cool. And he's like, what are you doing tonight? He's like, I don't know, he's like, you wanna train? I was like, yeah, let's do it. And we weren't sparring, but we were fighting. Like, I was trying to take his head off, and he was just like, picking me apart, jabbing, beating me up, but I loved it. I was about six to nine months clean. Um, I was angry, I was just trying to keep my head straight, and I think he could see that in me. And he gave me an opportunity to, you know, I, I, an outlet and better myself. So you have fought and won in Boston. What was that experience like? It was one of the, the best moments of my life and it made everything like worthwhile. Like, this is where I'm from. I just got a W in the garden. I've been through some dark times and I'm here with my hand raised. It's just, it gives you fuel and energy to keep just pushing forward and accomplishing more things. So now, here we are today. Yeah. Why do you fight, Kyle? I was fighting before, running away from my past. Um, like I said, 10 years clean now. My grandma used to say it's 10 miles in the woods, 10 miles out of the woods. I went pretty deep into those woods, some dark, dark woods, and I never looked back, and I was just running forward, running, 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 running. And I was running from my past, fighting from my past, just trying to feel good about myself as a person. 
but now it's different. Now it's like I'm honored of what I went through and now I'm fighting for that and fighting to inspire and help other people to make a positive change in their life. Kyle, any words for your people back in Gloucester? Uh, yeah, man, Gloucester, I love you all. Biggest support system. The little guy came from nothing to the UFC. You guys can do it. Whatever you dream, man, just keep, com keep coming, working hard.